This is Andy Pullerwolf, Boxing Social in association with Betfred. And I'm joined by Terry Thompson, father to Carl Brook. Terry, it's only a couple of days away now. You said on stage you never thought that this fight would happen. Are you still dubious? Are you still kind of just waiting to see them both in the ring? Until I see them step through them ropes, um, I think I'll be sceptical because it's gone round in that many circles. Yeah, until I see them actually step through the ropes, yeah, I think, yeah, it's definitely happening. What does this fight mean to not just Cal, but you guys as a family? Because I know it's the one which Carl's wanted throughout his career from back in those amateur days in the pro ranks when it was first mentioned. What does it mean to you guys? Well, it means a lot because, I mean, it didn't start out that way. It started out, you know, where uh, Kel were, you know, winning titles and Amir were winning titles. They were both the, the outstanding amateurs of the day, you know, and they, they went on and Kel ended up in the Four Nations for England. You know, he got gold medal. I know that Amir then went on and fought, you know, in the Olympics and got a silver medal. You know, obviously he got snapped up. He had the springboard, the platform, the Olympics, but he didn't. He didn't begrudge that. You know, the the fact is, it's just that there were comparisons being made at such a young age. You know, regarding who worked best in Britain. You know, and obviously Cal wanted on his path, and me went on his path. You know, and then people were saying, you know, that them two should actually get it on. And then, like I said, with others, we were drawing the comparisons. And you know, and and Cal obviously I'll fight him, and then. And Mia's obviously coming out with things like, oh, Kelbrook, I don't even know him. You know, and the the years went on and it on and on and on and on. And I think the the slaggings, you know, all sorts of things happened and and the the discontent grew in between that, you know. But all I know is it does finally seem like on Saturday night, you know, that they're both going to climb through the ropes and, and settle the differences. I won't repeat some of the comments that were made on stage, but what did you make of you know, some of the stuff which Amir's had to say to Cal and what Cal said back to Amir during the press conference? I didn't, I didn't really listen to it. it, went straight over my head. Fair enough. Um, obviously into Saturday night, people are struggling to split the pair of them. It seems to be that they don't know who's got more left in the tank effectively. Do you agree with that? Is it simply a matter of whoever has more left at this stage of their career will be successful? I think, no, I think, to be honest with you, they've always been very equal, I think, to this day. They're both 35-year-old. I would say that people are right, and Amir's got the speed, Kel's got the power, you know, so they've both trained the best that they can be. You know, I, I look at Kel, I mean, obviously I haven't seen Amir train, I saw him at ring just doing a bit of light, you know, shadow boxing. I've seen Kel, he still looks sharp, he still looks excellent, you know, and... Uh, what I've seen at the moment, obviously I'm, I'm seeing Kelso and I probably would be biased anyway. But until we see what Amir's got, you know, I believe you're getting the, the best Kel Brook in there. And from what Amir's saying, I think we've got the best Amir Khan in there as well. How personal is this fight? It's in, it's in personal for me. At the end of the day, they're both fighting lads. You've got to respect anybody, you know, that gets, gets in there through them ropes. I just personally hope, you know, that they... They, they have a good fight together. I hope the fans get exactly what they wanted. You know, I hope that the differences are settled and, you know, at the end of the day, it's a sport, like the best man win. If people are saying that it will either be kind of Kel early or maybe a mere late, that seems to be the general consensus when I look around and hear people's opinions. Is that the way you could maybe see going, not necessarily on a mere side, but for Cal, is his only way to stop, be successful is an early victory? I, I disagree with that. You know, I, I think that... You know, fighters adapt to a fight, you know, whatever's in front of me, if someone's going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe at the middle of the ring, they're going to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. If people are going to do a boxing match, you know, they're going to box. If it's going to become like a chess game, it'll be... Uh, only when you're stood in front of someone and someone throws someone, you'll throw someone back, they're, they're, you, you can't predict how the fight develops. All I know is they, they're in excellent condition, or well, I know Kel's in excellent condition, and it's going to be a thriller. Is this one that ends inside the distance? I would say so, yes. All right, Terry, I appreciate your time now. Good luck to you guys and obviously Cal on Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you.